we buy seed and it's like the world is full of opportunity and possibilities and then the seed grows in the ground and after that you're no longer the master, you're just the servant. It's a life I think, it's what I grew up doing, it's what my dad did, it's not usual probably to find a woman that's keen on farming and growing food but I can't imagine a day that doesn't include it. I started 30 years ago growing broccoli um, and, and having a U-Pick way before it was fashionable and that connecting with people was really where we decided that we loved what we do and, and to be able to teach people and show people and especially kids, yeah. you know, there, there's such a disconnect now between agriculture and how food grows. We picked all the vegetables here. We, we have a wood-burning oven. Why don't we just stay at the farm and cook this dish? Again, it's about being vibrant. Like when you look at those vegetables and, and all the colors and things like that, uh, I definitely think we'll end up adding a couple more garnishes. The hyper-local and the seasonality is just so critical. When something's ready, um, sometimes we miss it. You know, we're planning all the way through from spring right until yeah. March, you know, what we're going to have for you from the fields. And what we did is add quite a bit of flour into this dough, and then this is going to help season our turnip and steam it, so we're going to make a little dough crust for the to bake the turnip in. Essentially steam inside, kind of bake it and turn it almost into its own little forno oven itself and bake and then it helps kind of season it through. And then we crack it out of the shell and it's kind of a blank vessel for us to, to finish up. Which we're going to wrap with carrot and some turnip top for presentation of the board. Apple, you melon ball the apple and we dice the, ha the hash. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. a good idea. And then, because then we can have it sitting right on top of it. You can do like the potato with the apple right on top of it mm -hmm. and do that as the, as the little hash. These guys will roast, just like I give a little roast on it. Thank you. Kind of keep them whole with these little stems on it. I'm trying to go for like different textures. This whole dish is going to be just rustic. You know, definitely we want to start utilizing the, the whole vegetable, so we use some at the top. You know, this is where we use our knife skills a little bit. Oh. Do we want to do like one carrot puree just to kind of hang out in there? Do we want to do that? That can even, you know, pull some color back. How are we going to do, how do you want to do the carrot puree? Just roast the carrots slowly? We could either wrap them in foil and throw them in the oven. Steam them that way. The whole taking it raw from the ground and you actually feel the crunch and you s see the shape and you, your mind wanders back to where maybe it was grown, I think, when yeah. you would get that sort of interaction on the, on the plate with somebody who's enjoying a fine meal but knowing that it just came from the earth.